content-based routing is a common use case and we employ it when we want to dispatch messages coming from a streaming event source to different type of queues, buffers, depending on the content of the message or some metadata of the message itself. Hi, my name is Matteo. Today we're going to see on top of Quarkus and other open source projects how we can implement this use case of content-based routing. We will see using Drools, Cogito, Apache Camel, and of course, uh, Apache Kafka as our message broker. Here are the rules uh, for the demo application of today. We will be speaking specifically about healthcare messages. And so we can start to see that the first rule refers to message coming from a specific application called the MMS. And we are interested in admission, discharge and transfer of a patient messages. You see that the constraints are represented as usual in a decision table on the left hand side of the decision table itself. And uh, when these constraints are met, then we will know that the queue in Kafka jargon, those are called topic. The topic name that we want to dispatch this message to is called MMS OLEDT. Similarly, we are also interested in a very specific message a03 because that referred to a discharge of a patient. And uh, when those other constraints are met, we want also to dispatch the same message to another topic as well called MMS discharges. We can start to see that this uh, decision table can be a solid basis for which you describe the rules based on top of which the application will receive the incoming messages and thanks to some processing that we will see through the video of today, uh, these rules will be applied and they will become sort of like the routing label for which the message will be dispatched to. Here we have the enterprise integration pattern diagram of our application. And uh, we start uh, here from a recent point that is our ingress. So this can be uh, also thought about as a CDS hook in a healthcare a context of the domain. So here in the slide, we have represented HL7, fire type of messages, but similarly, you can think about any type of message that you want to process with this type of content-based routing. The first step in uh, the flow of the application is going to be the enrichment. This is a, an enterprise integration pattern where we take the message and we will decide where we want to dispatch it. Similarly, when you go to the airport, you will take the, your baggage to the dropping counter and depending on where you're going, a label will be given on top of your luggage that this will represent how the luggage will be dispatched and hopefully it will wait for you at your destination. So with the label now set, the router knows to which uh, Kafka topic this message needs to be dispatched and uh, those uh, correspond to the topic name that we see in the previous decision table. So here will be all messages coming from MMS application regarding the admission, discharge and transfer of a patient. These other queues will refer specifically to patient discharge and so on. This is very helpful because as well, you can have other clients downstream that will be connecting to the message broker. Let's speak about the uh, technological stack. Here on the right hand side, I have my Apache Kafka, our message broker, and we will see it using on top of the managed application service offering from Red Hat. Uh, and uh, what is uh, good of this demo is that uh, you can start to use this uh, service uh, free of charge. So you have a trial uh, that you can use in order to actually implement the same demo. I will have the code linked down below. So that is where the message will be going to. Now, the application itself uh, is based on Quarkus and we will deploy it again on a, a trial free to use OpenShift uh, Red Hat Developers Sandbox. These allow you to deploy one, some application and you can use that as well to try out the uh, open source uh, application that is based on top of Quarkus dispatching these messages. We have uh, been using Drools and specifically DMN for the decision table we are going to integrate it with Cogito. On another interesting uh, aspect for this demo is the use of Apache Camel. And here is where we'll actually have the integration, uh, enterprise integration pattern implemented on top with the Camel DSL, and we will use Atlas Map. 
So we can start now to see a bit better how the different technologies apply to the um, overview enterprise integration pattern a diagram. And uh, we have the stickers for the several technologies. So today in this demo, we will focus on HL7B2 type of messages, but similarly you can think about fire or other type of messages. And uh, we will have a recent point that is going to be our ingress. Then our rich uh, pattern will be realized with uh, Atlas map, camel, and of course drools for the decision logic. And uh, this will apply the label indeed of the message. The label will be used by the router in order to route it to the several topic of uh, Apache Kafka. Now, what is a little bit uh, the background on Atlas map is a way that we can do data mapping from the sort of like the technical side of the message. So here is where we can extract the data that we care for, either metadata or the content of the message itself out of the technical side and map it on top of our domain of interest. In this case, our domain of interest, we define three main attributes, the sending application, the type and the event type. And those is a very uh, helpful way to do this data mapping and to show it uh, to your stakeholder. As well, of course, to the decision table with the rule, the constraint that we talked about earlier. So this is a way that we can integrate the two projects, one for pure data mapping from the technical side to the domain a model, and then use the decision table in order to describe the rules for which the message will be routed. So what we are going to see today, we are going to see that we will have a manage Kafka instance. Again, you can try this one as well out for free, where we have the different uh, topics of the messages uh, that we are interested on. So the uh, all ADTs, the specific one for patient discharges, but as well as a catch all. And uh, we will see our application based on top of Quarkus deployed on the Red Hat developer OpenShift sandbox. The application will be running. We will be using the recent point of this application. We will send the HL7v2 messages. And depending indeed on the rules that we described, we will use, a, um, in this case, Kafka drop, which is a panel that we can see the message that are arriving inside of the Apache Kafka we can see that the message are going to be routed accordingly. So we can uh, see that now in action. Here we can see the Quarkus application deployed on top of the Red Hat developer OpenShift sandbox. You can actually have one, get one instance and try it for free. So this is uh, my application as it's deployed and it will contain also some uh, specific uh, route here. So this is going to be um, the ingress uh, where we're going to dispatch the message uh, to the application. Then I have as well ready the manage Kafka instance. Again, here you can uh, create a one instance for you uh, as a trial for free. And I've created as well already the topics that we've been discussing. So the topic where to send all the ADT messages, the patient discharges and the catch all. Now to exercise this application, I have here this happy test panel and I have, as you can see, the technical message that I'm going to send to the application. So here I got it. And the moment that I click send, you see that the, uh, I got already the response back and we can see what has been happening. So the application has been dispatching the messages and here I had already the panel ready. The moment that I refresh it here, we should start to see the, indeed, the message has been coming. And uh, while before it was empty, now we can indeed uh, display the message. And you can see that the same message that I've been sending here is the one that has been received. So this is uh, uh, the end to end. Let's delve a bit more into details about uh, how this was possible. We were speaking about an enterprise integration pattern flow. And uh, what you can see here are that implemented with the camel DSL.
So in this case, uh, we had actually some rest endpoint from Quarkus that is going to send the message directly to this first route. So HL7. As we spoke about, we have first an enrichment. This is where uh, we have indeed the application of a label. We will see how that happens. And then that becomes the way that uh, is going to be dispatched and finally acknowledge back to the uh, incoming application. Let's speak about more uh, about this labeling process. And this is indeed the core of the content-based routing idea. We receive a message. So this is like the luggage, we receive it. And uh, first of all, Camel allow you to transform it because it's a standard HL7 healthcare messages. So in this case, we're using the marshalling out of Camel. Then we have the, the Atlas map. And then once we add the Atlas map, we will apply then the decision table uh, in order to indeed determine the topic where to send this um, message application. And this will become the header in the Apache Camel uh, message dispatch exchange, uh, uh, exchange headers. So we can see even in more details about Atlas map. Let's do that now. We can open the Atlas mapping And as you can see here, the Atlas map is the one in charge of transforming from the technical representation. So this can be exchange headers or can be the content, specific content of your message. And we are mapping it to the domain. So the domain as we were speaking about, it is about uh, the sending application name, the type and the event. So this is what we realize with the Atlas map. Then as well, we have the routing table. The routing table receives now the message, which is uh, now belonging to the data modeling that we done for the domain. So with the sending application type and event. And we can see that the decision table is the one that uh, we are expecting. So because of the first message, it is about MMS, ADT and A03, I can show you to, to you that they are here, respectively here. I can uh, clear this one out and go to here. MMS, ADT, NA03. So this means that uh, this rule has been applied. And so, and this rule as well, because there is nothing uh, specifically constrained about uh, the MMS whole ADT. So if I go back also to CAFDROP to see and check it, indeed we can see that it is dispatched to the MMS or DT, but also if I go to see in the list of topic, if I go to the patient discharges, I can go and see that I have indeed the message. So we can try now for another type of message like A02. So I can show it to you like uh, MMS, it's here, ADT, a02. So this is the technical message. If I send it, and yes, it has been already acknowledged. So I would expect that uh, it's not being routed to this topic. And indeed, it's not here. But if we go to the MMS or EDT, now the message count is two, as we would expect. And if I go and display the messages, indeed, we received as well the second, uh, the second message. So this show to you an orchestration of several component and open source project on top of manage application service offerings such as the manage Kafka, but as well on top of OpenShift where you deploy your Quarkus application. I think as well, what I really like about uh, this uh, um, demo is that it really show the power of integration. So we are using Quarkus as our platform for basically development. And we're using the Camel DSL natively in Quarkus in order to implement the enterprise integration pattern data flow. We have also seen the, the uh, Atlas map in order to have this uh, technical data mapping from the technical message to the domain that we are used to reason on when we're speaking about rules. And we have seen decision tables as a way to describe in a very simple way how the message can be routed. I just want to remind as well 
uh, I will have the link of the demos in the description down below as well as uh, some uh, blog posts that will describe in more detail some of the aspects of this uh, type of setup. Just remind also that you can get a Red Hat, uh, OpenShift, uh, Red Hat Developer OpenShift Sandbox trial for free as well as a managed Kafka instance again that you can try it out and you can implement these use cases and potentially extend it. I think this shows the power of the technical stack that we've been also been describing through this application. And uh, I'll be happy to hear a comment. So what really would help is that if you can subscribe to this channel, uh, put a like if you like this message. If you think there are something that uh, is worthy to be seen in more details, please let me know as a comment down below and I'll uh, try to answer uh, your questions or indeed be receptive uh, to your feedback. That really helps a long way. With that, I hope this was an interesting demo presentation and I'll see you at the next one.